I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little overwhelmed because I have so much to do. Boys are here with the moving truck. Look at all the stuff we have and we don't even have our bed in here. You're gonna help daddy? I have my first cup of coffee at the new house. Isn't that one so cute? Good morning, you guys. It's move-in day. The lighting is not the greatest. I'm at a Starbucks drive through but I'm almost at our new house. Steven isn't gonna meet up. Um, oh my gosh, I was like, where's my wedding ring? In my bag. <laughs> I didn't wanna lose that. Um, he's gonna meet up with us a little bit later because he's picking up the U-Haul and it's not getting picked up till 9.30. It's 9.27 now, so he'll still have to pick that up, go back to the apartment. His friend's gonna help him load all the stuff. Um, and then head out to the new house. So I'm almost there because um, I haven't had food or coffee or anything this morning. Lucas is not in the best of moods right now. I think it's just because he doesn't want to be in the car. But my mother-in-law and Steven's aunt are already at the house and I'll catch you guys up to speed once we get there. Okay, not gonna lie, I'm a little overwhelmed because I have so much to do, so much organizing to do and things are just everywhere. Um, I put minions on for Lucas. He's so tired, poor baby. But as you guys can see, the fireplace is all done and it looks really good. I have Penelope created over here, poor mama, cause she'll slip and slide on this um, floor right now. Um, and then I'm just gonna organize the kitchen as much as possible right now. There's a lot of stuff and then I gotta go into the garage. I'm just gonna try to do all the things before Steven arrives in the U-Haul and more things come. So, wish me luck. Wish me luck. It's a good thing I stopped to get coffee. Because I'm gonna need it. Oh, and on top of that, Steven didn't have the tools to break down our bed, so his mom's on her way to, I think she has tools at home. We have to also take apart Lucas's crib. Um, it's that Ikea crib because it won't fit through the doorway and he's tired. So I don't know how nap time's gonna go today. It's, anyways, I have a lot to do. Boys are here with the moving truck. Look at all the stuff we have and we don't even have our bed in here. You want your tent, Lucas? And it's full. to do was put this end and butt it up on this wall and put this end right here because it's an L-shaped couch. There's only an attachment on one side. I'm not really making sense because it's really hard to explain, but the couch essentially like this can't go on that side because the attachment's here. So if we flip it around, this will have to go on that wall and that wall's too small. Does that make sense? I'm trying to make sense right now. So we're gonna have to figure this out. Oh. Look how lovely our bedroom looks. The boys are gonna do a dump run. Hi, Lucas Mama. wants to help, but he can't. That's the old nasty carpet. Oh, I'm so glad we got rid of that. And then have these down. Okay, come on. Have a okay, no, stay right here though, because there's a lot of stuff right, right here. So cute, little yeah, Stanley Jr. Yeah. And I will open it so you can help daddy, okay? Uh -huh, daddy. Hopefully, I don't need a. Uh, hi, daddy. Oh gosh, can I take this off? Here's some tools so you can help, okay? The wrench, screwdriver, this thing is so cute. I'm sweating, if you guys can tell. That just bounced in my face. Uh -huh, Daddy. So cute. So cute. Uh -huh, Daddy. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna figure out the couch situation. Um, the how daddy? I don't know how I feel right now. Mommy, I don't know. I'm a little upset daddy. that I didn't know no, the attachment was on the other side. So I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. They're gonna do a dump run. When they come back, we're gonna go get lunch and then just start unpacking some more. Woo! Oh, I got a 
Daddy. You're going to help Daddy? Yeah, I'm going to help Daddy. Look at that. Look at all that stuff. How cute. I don't want to help Daddy. <laughs> okay, I figured it out. Except we wanted the long end on this wall Daddy. since the wall is so big. But this is the only way that it will work. But this is what I was talking about. This is how we wanted it. Um, and then I could put a little, um, little side table right there and then a rug. This is exactly... Okay, I'm glad this worked out. I'm glad this worked out. It looks good. Well, once I put it together, it'll look better. It really wasn't that hard. That was a very simple fix, but sometimes you just gotta, a lot's going on. since six I have my first cup of coffee at the new house look how cute this mug is by the way it's from Target I think it was like four dollars super festive I used to always like keep myself from buying things like this because everywhere we stay everywhere we lived the last year it was really small and so I didn't want to like clutter where we were but now we have plenty of space so I was really excited to buy this mug right now I'm in Lucas's room um, I want to give you guys an update later on how he did last night. All I'll say now is he did fantastic sleeping at the new house for the first time. He did so good. Um, but I'm in his room. Stephen brought in some more boxes that I have to go through. I gotta hang up his clothes. I gotta like organize his toys. Um, and his room is gonna change a couple of times. I want to get a jute rug in here. Um, I put like this little nightstand next to his crib for now that was in our living room in our apartment um, Just an extra piece of furniture that we had and I was like, I think it'd look cute in his room um, He has new sheets. He slept with a pillow for the first time last night. That was really cute um, And I'll link all that stuff for you guys if you want um, And yeah, so his room's gonna change a couple of times right now. We're just working with you know what we have but today we are just going to continue to unpack and organize, put things away, um, break down boxes. There is this little festival going down, going on downtown that I want to go to today. It ends around four, so it's from eight to four. So I convinced Steven to like have us go for a little bit because we do have so much to do at the house still. Um, so we're gonna go for a little bit and get do some like fall festivities. We're gonna have pumpkin picking, food trucks, activities. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm gonna finish my coffee, start putting Lucas's stuff away. I still gotta put all my clothes away. And yeah, right now Lucas and Steven are hanging out in the dining area. Um, Lucas is having some breakfast. Steven and I had breakfast. Um, already this morning literally right before he woke up he slept in today he didn't wake up till like almost nine o'clock which was crazy because he usually wakes up at like seven or eight and he slept in so he was really tired and very comfortable I'll show you guys the state of his room right now so this is the um Nice stand I was telling you guys about and then I found that really cute ghost pillow at Marshall's um and then here's his little crib i mentioned on instagram that i wanted to transition him into a toddler bed but we're gonna wait i'm gonna restart potty training i know i said a while back i was gonna potty train him didn't work so we're gonna restart it at the new house but um for his bed i got him this like pillow from i think it's kia babies from amazon and then new sheets and yeah and i bought him a comforter too but I want to share this really sweet story about this little like tow truck right here. So a couple, I want to say like a week or two ago, my dad and my stepmom were here and we had lunch downtown and we saw this little antique store that I, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I've talked about this antique store a couple of times. I found this really cute piano too from that same, it, I don't know if it's antique, I think it's, there are some antique items, but it's like a lot of, it's secondhand stuff, basically. It's a secondhand store. Because um, some of the stuff there isn't that old. 
we saw this little tow truck, this wooden tow truck um, displayed and that's what made us go in, but it didn't have a price. So I was like, okay, whatever, I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, I just didn't feel like waiting in line for one little thing. So Lucas and I waited outside for my dad and my stepmom and this guy comes out and at first I was a little standoffish because I'm like, well, why is he approaching us? Like, what's happening? Um, he was actually very, very sweet and he came up to us and he goes, I'm telling the cute story about the tow truck, but he comes in and he's like, something along the lines of, my grandson lives far away. I don't get to see him very often. And your son reminds me a lot of him. So I got him a little something from the shop. And I was like, oh, wow, like not expecting that. I was like, that's very sweet of you. Thank you. And it wasn't until he started walking away that I looked inside the bag and it was that little tow truck. And I was like, oh my gosh. I said it again. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, very cute story, but I don't know why Lucas is mad right now. He had such a good night. Yeah, motherhood. festival which was a lot of fun by the way but I wanted to show you guys the dresser now that it's finally here in Lucas's room you guys know that we haven't been we haven't had a dresser in a really long time for him um, we were supposed to get one in the apartment and then we never did but look how cute this my one so cute and I still have a ton of things to put away and organize. I already organized all of his clothes. Now I just gotta like, I gotta figure this all out. But um, I put his lamp here, his little tow truck here, and this picture of him and my grandpa here, which is really special to me. I, want, I wanted that picture in this room. Um, and yeah, and so I ended up replacing those things and then putting some more books in here. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this little side table. It's kind of just extra right now, so I figured I'd put it in his room, but I think it looks, I think it looks cute in his room. So, this is what it's looking like so far. And we just have boxes everywhere right now. So, yeah, we have all this. I put his little, like, Montessori station over here for now. Um, we have our dining table here, which... We need to upgrade eventually because it's really, really beaten up at this point. And then our kitchen. So I basically organized, look, we have all these boxes. <laughs> basically organized the majority of the kitchen, but it still needs, it still needs a lot of TLC. What are you, are you helping? Are you helping? Are you helping? He's really into it. Look at this thing. <laughs> wow, babe. Daddy, Papa. Oh. Helping Daddy. Where's Penelope? Over there eating grass. Over there. Penelope! What are you doing? Oh, you found Lucas's toy! You bad girl. You finally have a little backyard for yourself. Okay, before I end the vlog, um, I'm gonna update you guys really quick with how Lucas did his first night here. Maybe give you guys some tips. So, I actually brought him to the house, the new house, a couple of times so that he could be familiar and um, he would play here. We had family here while we were working um, just so he could familiarize himself with this new home and instead, of him, instead of just bringing him here for the first time and then having him sleep here. So he played, he got to be around family, he got to do all those things. He also sleeps with um, a stuffed animal every night. I think that comforted him too. He goes to bed with it every single night. And of course his hatch baby, his sound machine. 
We've been using it since he was a newborn and I think with just those little touches of um, comfort and being familiar with his like nighttime routine, that really helped him. Um, and I understand not everyone can maybe bring their child to the house a couple of times before moving in, but we did and that seemed to help. So anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog only because my I'm almost out of time with this memory card. So thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait for more videos to come out. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.